you're on now, man. You can take it away when you're ready. All right, so me and a group of my friends went to a concert in Detroit. We took the tunnel bus over, and uh, after the show let out, it was like one o'clock or so in the morning, and um, we were waiting for the bus for what seemed like a couple hours. And my friend was like, well, what's going on? Like, I had two friends with me. One was having a full-blown panic attack because she doesn't do good with... Just because the buzz didn't show up? Well, it's because she doesn't do good with, like, plans changing, right? Like, right. She, she didn't know what was going on. So we, we contact, uh, like, we call uh, the transit company, and they said that because there was construction in the tunnel, the bus had stopped running. Okay. So we were sitting by Hart Plaza for three hours and then uh, we called the Detroit cab company to come pick us up but they had like a one-star review on Google and <laughs> it was all the reviews were like this guy was driving with a gun that well, there was a point. review where some driver pulled a knife on somebody like it, it could easily just be a company like trash talking another one but we didn't know right so we're like well this is literally our only option to get home I can tell you, if I drove in the States, man, 100% I would drive with a gun, but yeah. <laughs> 100, why, why not, right? Yeah. But yeah. But, so, we wait for this guy for another hour, uh, because he has to go home and get his passport, and the entire time that he's driving us, he's... he's the taxi driver had to go home first to get his passport. Yeah. Okay, okay. So the entire time that he's driving us, he's yelling at us. He wait, was, hold on, he picked you up? Yeah. Then you told him where you're going, and then he went to his house to pick up his passport. No, we weren't in the cab yet. So, like, we called the dispatch, right? And, and the dispatch sent this guy to his house to yeah. pick up his passport. Yeah. That's hilarious. Okay. Yeah, so we... <laughs> We were sitting in the cab, and this guy was mad. He was just super angry the whole time, just for no reason, right? Fuckers yeah. made me get my passport. Uh, yeah, literally. <laughs> so he's he's getting all upset, and then we go across the bridge, and he's like, where do you want me to like drop you off? We're just like, oh, the McDonald's just outside the bridge. And um, he drops us off, and then he, the lady on the phone told us $90, right, for the cab ride to get across the border, which is insane. Um, so he drops us off, and then he want he's trying to charge us one hundred twenty dollars. Okay, so he's, slightly more insane, right? So he's trying to get like a thirty dollar tip out of us, basically, right? For being all salty. Yeah, and he's just like telling them we're like, no, that's not what was told. Like we didn't, no one said anything about this to us, and uh, he he ended up uh, getting like he he got really close to my friend's face. She was she's like. The one with the previous panic attack? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So she she, uh, she got super scared and stuff like that. And like you thought your bus showing up late was bad. Right, yeah. And then so her boyfriend, who was my friend, uh, like gave this dude a couple shots in the face. <laughs> and then this dude, like he just sped away. And then we're like, what? Like, what just happened? Wait, okay, right? so you guys like got out of the car and then you got in the fight? Or like... Yeah, yeah. Like... What because he was following us. Like he was like, like you gave him ninety dollars and then he started following you or like Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um And then th there's a silver lining though, because the band that we were going to see, like uh that we were seeing in Detroit, he or they um they were all going to Toronto for the next tour date. So they stopped at that McDonald's to get food on the oh way. Oh my so we, god, we, that's so jokes. We ended up we ended up getting to meet them. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> it's like you you guys lucked out more than anybody at that concert. And yeah. you just have to like Yeah. Just do it with the pay ninety bucks for it, I guess. <laughs> Ultimate VIP experience. Yeah, right? It was insane. But like ever since then, like my my friend, he's just like every time we go to the stage we're driving. We didn't well, what do you mean? If you drove, you would have never met this band. Right. But like just so that we don't have to deal with the tunnel bus again. Because he, he was going to drive, but his mom was like... Because we were like 19 at the time, right? And he had just got his license. So he was just, his mom was concerned about him driving in the States all the time. <laughs> Little did she know she's going to get in a fist fight just because he doesn't have his car. Yeah, just a couple quick shots in the head and that's it. So the guy, like, what, dropped and then got up and ran away? Or, like, how did, how did that no, go he, down? No, he didn't, he didn't, like, fall to the ground. He just took the shots and left. Pretty much, yeah. And Damn. then he just... Like, like a one-two combination? 
Something like that. Away? Yeah, like it, it was just. I think the guy was thinking like, well, I didn't think they were gonna fight back, right? Like that sounds like a pretty pussy move, though. It's just get like comboed and run away. Yeah, like, like especially if you're getting up into three people's face, like yeah. Interesting. That's Very awful. interesting. But I guess it's a good assessment of the situation, right? If you're getting pieced up by one guy out of the three guys you're trying to fight, probably not a good situation to stay, stick around in, right? Yeah, well, like, because I'm not a fighter, right? I've never... I it doesn't matter. The guy's getting 1v1. There's two more of you, right? Well, so yeah, this... No matter what, he's <laughs> fucked. Yeah. So... Um, yeah. Well, better luck next time.